Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kudash. The world honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, laboring the word and doctrine. Shalom and in peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Right, this is Sirach, Ecclesiastes chapter 16, verse 6. It reads, In the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled, and in a rebellious nation, wrath is set on fire. Right, again, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rukha Kudash. Going into this now, the congregation, you know, is a gathering together where two or three are gathered in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, there the Lord is in the mix, you know, in the mix, in the mix. So, that being said, in the congregation of the ungodly, you know, there's different manners of spirits gathered, you know, congregations of demons right someone didn't have to sit down you know draw out a pentagram and start going into how they want to murder all this you know a, a, a conspiracy to murder that's not the only form of you know demon <laughs> the demon collective or the demon collection right it can be a lot simpler than that let me just un un highlight them yeah so verse six there so in the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled. So they're setting on fire, you know, and ultimately that fire will come back on you. You know, as a man reap, sorry, as a man sowed, that shall he reap. As a man reap, that he has sowed. Right, so whatever you get, you get in what you put out. You know, like you do them mathematical equations. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side. <laughs> the same. So on this algebra, you know, fire equals conspiracy plus your wickedness you know, why because the wages of sin is death you know but then you're heaping it up you know you're adding wickedness to wickedness adding sin to sin unequalness in the congregation so the congregation of the ungodly shall the fire be kindled you know that gathering together and that also there's many scriptures that speak on conspiring you know they have thought together was it say they've conspired, not conspired, they said they have, um, I believe it says gathered together with one consent, Psalm 83. I'm in transit at the moment, so I'm not going to grab that, but look that up. You know, they've consulted, that's the word that's used, they have consulted together with one consent. I believe that's, when I say it now, you know, I'm second guessing myself, but look it up nonetheless, Psalm 83. They have, right, so they've come together with one consent, and you've got groups talking about, well, where's, you know, y'all are conspiracy theorists. Well, search up conspire and see if it's in there. So if anyone has a theory about someone conspiring, they'd be a conspiracy theorist. However, some conspiracies are tr or conspiracy theories are true. You know, if you think that even, you know, that you can have a righteous conspiracy, if you conspire, right, me, my wife, my children, are gonna keep the Sabbath day today. You know, you, what are you doing? You're coming together in one spirit, in one breath. So you're conspiring. It doesn't mean a wicked thing, but more time, you know, it has that connotation. You know, so that's an example of a conspiracy. Now, if you say, well, I think this brother over here, his wife and children all are of the same mind to keep the Sabbath day. I think there's a conspiracy. Well, technically, you'd be a conspiracy theorist. But obviously, it gets darker and sinister than that. You know, it's not just good conspiracies. It gets darker and more sinister than that. And that absolutely is, you know, active, um, negative conspiracies, man. And the scriptures speak on it. They've consulted together with one consent. You know, that's just to name one. You can search up conspire. Or just put on, you know, in this app, for example, C-O-N-S-P-I-R. And it'll either put up conspire with an E on the end or conjugate it with A-C-Y. You know, conspiracy like that. However, if you're on the Blue Letter Bible, you know, it's going to come up that you have to put the exact word in. You know, so you'll have to put the exact word in like that. So that's an example of it. Right? Sirach 16 and 6 in the congregation of the ungodly, should a fire be kindled. So any conspiracy, you know, against the Lord, there'll be a fire. You know, fire is that judgment there. Uh, how we put it in a prophetic context, there's going to be ICBMs, you know, nuclear fire. 
or even um, you know, from the chariots. So the Lord will come back with his chariots to bring recompense. You know, with flames of what does it say? With fear, his fury, with flames of fire. Isaiah 66 verses I think 16 and 17. You can read that there. So that's a fire. So in this context, ICBMs, laser beams, you know, which all lasers are, is concentrated fire. You know, a concentrated form of you know, light to bring that fire. Which, you know, he will tell you the sun is a big ball of fire or a big ball of gas. You know, we know it as the greater light in the scriptures. And that light obviously brings that heat. The same like a laser. So that's the prophetic context. Furthermore, so is it in the second part of the verse, Sirach 16 and 6, and in a rebellious nation, wrath is set on fire. <laughs> and that's what you have. You have wrath, you have justified indignation, you know, righteous anger from Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai upon the nation of Israel. Why? Because we went off. And it goes back to the scripture of just left my mind as soon as I'm about to make reference here. Uh, until it until he plead my cause. Why? Because I have sinned against him. You know, I have sinned against him. That's why whether it was on this in this life, on this side, or you know, prior lives on this side. You know, but the reward is what we're seeking for on the next side. You don't want to be catching that fire. No, or catching that, which that's going to be a prophetic fire, sorry, um, a symbolic fire, you know, like it says, um, pain and everlasting contempt, sorry, shame and everlasting contempt, excuse me, shame and everlasting contempt, you know, that's going to be that fire in your soul, man, you know, make, convicting you, making you feel guilty, you know, about your, your past, that's not where we want to be, we're already uh, trying to feel, we're trying to feel repentance, trying to feel guilt on this side, so we don't have to go through anything more severe upon this side and therefore anything you know unsavory on the time to come or the side to come you know so with that being said you know i'll keep it nice and sharp all praise to you how about hashem yahushai shalom